Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to measure the tension of a V-ribbed or serpentine belt using a Cricut 2 tension tester. If the belt is not tensioned enough, it will cause the material to wear out due to skidding and fluttering and the rubber will deposit on the pulleys. On the other hand, excess tension can wear out the bearings early and replacing them would be very costly. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to use the Cricut. There are two ways to hold it. You can put your index finger through the loop here and press down against the belt, or you can use your thumb and index finger and hold the loop. And now you can press with both fingers, which gives you a lot more power. As long as you're pressing on this spot right here, it's okay. Just make sure not to press anywhere else. Before taking the measurement, make sure that the needle is all the way down. So I'm just gonna use this model as an example because it's hard to show on the car. I'm assuming that there's a pulley at the top here and a pulley at the bottom and you would align the tester right in between the two pulleys in the center which would be right here. Also make sure to align it left and right, it should be right over the belt. So I got it aligned, once it's aligned just press down where you're holding it from until it clicks. Once it clicks make sure to stop pressing and now you can read your measurement. So the measurement is exactly where the needle is intersecting with the metal surface here. And in my case, it's the first notch after 100, which is 120 pounds. Make sure to take a few measurements to ensure accuracy. So I'm just gonna check it again. And here's the result again. It's exactly at 120. To find out what the normal tension is for your vehicle, check your repair manual and it should specify a range for a used belt and for a new belt. This Cricut 2 gauge can be used on belts that have up to 8 ribs in width and a tension between 100 and 320 pounds. In case you're interested in getting one, I'll have a link to it down in the video description. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching!